Hello, I'm Dr. Jake Misethi. I'm a medical doctor and an internal medicine specialist. I practice medical cannabis treatment at Sethi Cannabis Clinic located in Burlington, Ontario, Canada. The series of educational videos will be on medical cannabis and how it applies to various health conditions. Please read the disclaimer next and then we'll get started. Thank you for watching. Dr. Jagmeet Sethi and I practice medical cannabis treatment at Sethi Cannabis Clinic in Ontario, Canada. So this talk is on ADHD and focus and how this relates to cannabis treatment. So this is a very important talk because it is a little bit of reverse from what I normally talk about. Um, and I'll explain why in a minute. So ADHD patients, the biggest complaint with them is they have trouble focusing or concentrating and they will take prescription medications and you know, uh, struggle a lot with this in their daily life, especially in their workplace. Um, so they come in asking whether this will help. Sometimes they have anxiety as well, sometimes they don't. So that varies. Um, but on the whole, ADHD and cannabis are an important uh, combination because cannabis will relieve ADHD symptoms and improve focus. And it's not CBD oil that does this. And normally I talk about CBD, the non-intoxicating part of cannabis. And you know, CBD uh, calms you down, CBD reduces inflammation or muscle stiffness or pain, but CBD does not improve focus. If somebody says CBD oil is improving their focus, it's because they were anxious and their anxiety is better, and now they can focus or concentrate better. But as a whole, CBD will not improve focus. In ADHD patients, THC is what improves focus. And THC, the psychoactive part of cannabis, you know, the part of cannabis that makes you high, is what improves focus in ADHD patient. And they microdose THC, they take very little THC, whether they inhale it or ingest it, they take very tiny doses so it doesn't make them high, but just improves their focus, they can function better. When a person that does not have ADHD takes THC, THC normally reduces focus, can reduce memory, can make you sleepy and helps you sleep. THC impacts cognition and reduces your cognition ability. But it is the reverse, it's upside down in ADHD patients, I don't know why. But having seen thousands and thousands of patients with ADHD, I can tell you uh, that is a definite thing. In fact, I would even say that if an ADHD patient who's smoking THC doesn't say it improves their focus, then chances are they don't even have ADHD because it is such a widespread consensus among the patients how it improves focus. So inhaling versus ingesting oil with THC and how much THC in the oil, I think it's important not to go straight to the, you know, uh, a straight THC oil, maybe take a combination of CBD and THC oil with more CBD than THC. So, you, you know, you decrease the amount of THC you're using during the day because it will impact your ability to drive, etc. because you're not allowed to drive with THC in the mix. However, um, you have to also consider workplace, workplace policies that, you know, they don't allow THC in the workplace and a lot of, um, a lot of jobs. So that has to be considered as well. So when a person ingests THC, whether it's a half and half CBD THC oil or a straight THC oil, usually it's a half and half or twice as much CBD than THC oil. They take it. It takes an hour to kick in, lasts about four to six hours. Maybe they use it once or twice during the day um, or take it as needed. It varies and they take very little. Uh, and here comes the caveat to this conversation that 80% of the patients in ADHD don't really respond to ingesting cannabis and improving focus. They respond more to inhaling it, which is unfortunate because I don't like to promote or recommend inhaling uh, anything really. Um, and But they do smoke or vape cannabis, and that helps their focus more than ingesting it. And it is what it is. So uh, most of the time, um, they don't tend to overuse, I find. I find they tend to use very little THC during the day, but they may use it frequently because they may need that little bit, and then they can function. It is interesting to see a lot of patients who, who do very high functioning jobs and have very responsible jobs that they can and who have ADHD can function better with this microdosing technique where they may take just one or two puffs and that's all they need, which is very, very little cannabis, just one or two puffs. Um, so we try to manage what strains to use for ADHD. The strains for inhaling for ADHD usually are hybrids, um, sometimes indicas, but mostly I, indicas are too calming. Sativa strains may be too stimulating. So on the whole, most ADD, ADHD patients will pick a hybrid strain. If you don't know the difference between indica and sativa, you can watch the video on indica versus sativa. There are some patients that react the opposite in ADHD population, and I don't know why either. I would say maybe 10% of the patients will do better with sativa strains than they will do with hybrid strains for focus. 
So that is the gist of ADHD. I know I went through it pretty quickly, but most people with ADHD are already inhaling cannabis, so this kind of will help kind of orient that a little bit. And it's, got, it's pretty much uh, this video is focused focus more on those patients. Uh, on the whole, uh, THC will diminish your concentration and focus. I just wanted to stress that. It's just upside down in the ADHD population. Thank you for watching.